Hello guys, here is Baiano with Baiano Renault. In this video, I'm just gonna show you how we done some uh, side protection. Uh, we put the protection on place to protect against all, all the mess from the dryer, green glue, uh, taping, and painting. We're just gonna remove the protection when the paint is 100% completed. Thank you guys, I love you. Yes, is this a recording? Hello guys, here's Baiano with Baiano. Uh, yeah. We did the side protection here because this unit is 100% finished. And now we work here, we work on the ceilings and drops for the soundproof. So we had to do the side protection to keep the thing nice and clean. And um, dry oil is a mess job, all right? For the side protection, we used three, three things. That was the paper to protect the floor. This is just uh, not very expensive tape because we're just doing it for the dry oil, so it's not gonna be really uh, heavy traffic in here. So we don't need the run board. This one would do the job. Uh, you can see it there. The dry sheeting from Home Depot. And uh, we use the, the green tape. We use the tape, painter tape, and we use the utility poly. The very light stuff like you can see here. Like this is just like uh, something just uh, to prevent some dust from going. We're still gonna finish seal it off. And, uh, and then that way is way easier than to do the cleanup. Okay, let's walk around the unit. We're gonna show you exactly what we've done. Here you can see we just put the poly. We're gonna put dry all here, so we need to have this area open. I'm gonna put a corner bit. What are you protecting to be specific? We just we protect the cabinets and all contents. Like we just put the tape poly. And uh, we don't need to really heavy stuff because uh, what we're doing here is just to to keep the dust off and um, there you go so you cover cabinet you cover countertop this way everything is covered and here for the closet because we're not gonna do not gonna be work on the closet so we just seal it with the tape. Easier this way because if we put polo works too, but we have to go up with the board. Sometimes the pole just get a tongue up on the board and give us headache, make more mess. So this is a nice way, like uh, you guys can see, all the joints sealed, the floor is sealed. Like once we finish in here, um, we have like we don't have you know, to clean the inside the closet so this is gonna stay this protection will just stay until we done the paint once the paint is 100% complete and then we remove it and take to the recycle like you can see here the floor is just uh, all covered with uh, the paper Everything is covered. Once we're done, we just remove the paper. We're good to go. Yeah, we put the tape in all the joints. And uh, here on the door, we just keep it tight to the door. As you guys can see, we just uh, walk in there. Go. Um, this is uh, the sada door is for the bathroom because we're not gonna be using it, so it's sealed because we're not gonna do any soundproof inside the bathroom. But this door here, yeah, we not tape this door because we're still using it to go upstairs, so we just leave it in this. Uh, this is the exterior door and would be good sealed in there. We just put a full piece, we 
the hallway and then we went back and put a small piece uh, on the doorway. Yeah, we just um, can leave the small piece for last and then can use some leftover from some corners, right? Do you want to show how you did this doorways here? No, no. Okay, you guys can see here. Doorway is done. Just cut the paper around it, tape it as much as we can, and uh, this would be good. Here's another closet, sealed tight. We don't not gonna do anything there, so it's protected. This one is a is a washroom. We're not gonna do any work in here except for few little thing on the seal, but we have it protect because this one is the one that we're gonna be using. We protect the floor because we're gonna be using this bathroom while we work in here. Yeah, here yeah, on the baseboard heater, we just have it like this. Uh, on the end, once we do it, we we'll start to do the mud. We're just gonna put a cob on it. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna, we have a piece of uh, metal. We're just gonna put on top, that way it's protected. We just don't do it right now because the heat is working and uh, we cannot cover it. So we cover it when we work and then once we done, once we finish to work in this area, we just move it out. We can see where we stop the tape and the paper and tape it. But nothing in here because this is gonna be free. It is dangerous to cover the heater. So this is gonna be this way. Maybe it, uh, once we cover it, maybe it still get a little bit mess, but it's something that we, it's better to do this way than to have it covered. Okay. Yeah, right here on the door, we have the tape in there for the floor. Yeah, we did the floor first and then we put the tape on the closet door, that way it still works very good this way. Not gonna be a ton of dust, but it's still gonna be some dust. Yeah, here is pretty much the same concept. Nothing new. The closet or the doors are done the same way as the other doors. Everything protected, and the blinds are up, and uh, we are good to go here with the side protection. Yes, uh, we can do uh, full protection like this with uh, minimal waste. Like you guys can see, this is the waste that we have. Because we just use uh, some uh, cut out pieces to fill in the space on the door. So it's very much no waste. And thank you very much, guys. I love you guys. Thank you for your support. And if you if you want to see more video like this one, please subscribe. Okay guys, if you like more information or if you have any question about this protection, just leave on your comments and they'll be here to answer for you. Thank you very much and see you soon. You're gonna see this job site again when we're doing the green group. We do it for sound proving. so many times.